Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some basketball drills that will teach your team how to drive and dish the ball out to get even easier baskets in your next game. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about some fantastic basketball drills that will help your team uh, get easier baskets, more open baskets, things like that. So in a previous video, uh, not very long ago, I talked about the Toronto Raptors and how they use the drive and dish to get themselves easy points. The reason why drive and dishes work is because you're driving the ball towards the rim and you're passing it out or kicking it out for an open shot or maybe an extra pass for another open shot. Basically, by driving the ball, the defense collapses in, which leaves the perimeter players open. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out some of these drills that will help your team with the drive and dish. Okay, so here we are down on the clipboard. Basically, we're going to start with player four with the basketball. We're going to have a line of two players, if you have to, only three players. But basically, this is a drill that only needs four players. So what I would do is possibly run this on three different baskets if you have those available or at the very least three ba or two baskets and you, what you would do is have three or four players in this line but the reason why I only suggest having two players is because you want this drill to get through as quickly as possible and you want your players you can actually use this as a warm-up drill so basically you're gonna start with player four passing the player two now at this first pass player four is not gonna move but he will be in future passes player two is going to drive in He's not going to go in for a layup. What we want is for player two to pass the ball out to player one. And then one is going to pass to player four. Player one is going to follow his pass. Player two is going to follow his pass. Player four is going to pass to player three, who's then going to drive towards the rim. Player four is going to follow his pass again over to here. And now player three passes the ball out to player two. And again, one big, well, messy circle, but it is basically a circle. Now again, we're going to be doing a drill with again only four players, and the reason again is this ba basically the same reason, which is your drive. Uh, you just want to get this this drill over with quickly. You could again use this one too for warm ups before a game, or you can use this as warm ups in your practice as well, especially if you can get your players' blood moving quickly. So basically, player one is going to pass the player three. Player 1 is going to move down to this corner. Player 3 is going to drive towards the rim. He is then going to do a hop step, or which is basically one dribble and a stop. And then he's going to pass out to player 1, and player 1 is going to take his shot. Now when he takes his shot, player 1 is going to go in for the rebound. Player 3 is going to box out, and they're going to get that ball. And again, we're going to pass this ball out to player 2. They're, whichever player just shot, so if player... Three is the one who just passed the ball out. Player one will go into the back of this line. Player three will go in the back of this line. And again, we're going to run this play or this drill through one more time. And you're going to continue this through and through. Now, before a game, you only have one basket. So what I would suggest is, by, is to split your team in half and have two lines going over here and two lines going over here. And then that way, you're still getting your shots up and you're getting your passing, you're getting your dribbling, everything is working, and all of your players are going to be able to warm up really well with this drill. Not to mention with this drill, if you're using it for a pre-game warm-up, uh, it's going to be definitely something that you could even use in a game. So whenever they get stuck and they drive towards the, the rim in a real game, they're knowing that they can still pass it out for a three-point shot or even a secondary pass if they were to run that last drill I just showed you as well. Now here is another drill for your team. You can use this again for warm-ups for practice or for a game. And basically, we are learning how to again drive and kick it out to the opposite side. And basically how we're going to do this is player one is going to drive towards the basket. He's going to pass out to player two. I know this is a cross-court pass, but this is a pass that many players use in a game. And then he will follow his pass out, play defense, again, stutter stepping on the way out. You don't want to be taking these massive steps because that will allow player two to drive by for a layup. So you want player two to be small steps, small steps coming out, making his shoes squeak if possible. 
so that when he comes out, he's closing out on player two. Player two shoots. Player one will then box out, and they will fight for that rebound. But again, not it's a warm-up, so you're not trying to make it very physical. Once they get that ball, they're going to pass the ball out. Whoever shot goes in the back of this line. Whoever passed goes in the back of that line. So here we have another type of drill. This is going to be incorporating not just a kickout pass, but also uh, a screen and roll, which is going to be very useful. So what we are going to have is player two starting with the basketball. He's going to pass to player three. Player two is going to then do a screen and roll with player three. Player three is going to pass to player two. And then after that, player two is then going to pass the ball out to player five for the shot. Now, if we have a second ball, we can run this drill again with the next players in the line. Basically, each player is going in this direction. So, player five will then go over to this line. We would then have player three continuing out to this line. We would have player two, if we don't have two basketballs, pass back to this line. If not, then he will uh, get the heck out of the way and then pass to the next player from up here. And he will go in the back of that line. So now we are learning the screen and roll. We're also learning the kick out, the shot, as well as the pass. Well, it's only a straight line pass, but you're still learning the screen and roll and the pass and utilizing the screen and roll. Now... Some coaches like to make sure that these players, when they do the screen and roll, their shoulders rub. Uh, personally, if you're using this for a warm-up, I would not do that because you want to make sure that nobody's knees hit each other. Uh, but in practice, uh, again, uh, I always like to run non-contact practices. So I always say to make sure that you're close. But in games, you want to basically rub each other's shoulders. Okay, so now okay, in so this now final in this drill final that I'm going, to show, I'm going today, to show you today, player three is going, to, is going then to then run towards, towards the pylon who is in the, in the middle of the key or at the middle of the free, middle throw, of the free throw, throw line. line. The coach is going the to pass him the pass ball. Him the player three, when player he is three, here, he's, he's going to be facing this direction, having his hands out. He was cutting this way with his hand. Let me draw that line again. He was cutting this way with his hand up. If he's facing, obviously, this way, it would be his left hand being up. He's going to be calling for that, calling ball. for that ball. Once he gets to Once this he location, to this he's going to have both of his hands up if the coach has not passed him the ball at that point in time. He is then going to spin off the pylon, the pylon using, and using, because he's facing because this, he's way facing now, this way now, using now, his right, using his right foot, foot as a, foot, as a, as a pivot, as a pivot and he's going to be turning this, this way. This when he drives when towards the basket, he's going to pass out to player six for the shot. the shot. Now player now, six player is going to six he's going to take that shot. Take they're going to come in. They're going to come they're in. Gonna get that rebound. That rebound. The player who the shot, player who shot whoever gets the rebound whoever really the rebound passes, out to the coach. passes out to the coach. This player goes this player around goes to this around line. To player this three will then go in the back of that line because player three because was, the was the passer. And now what we are now learning in this drill is not just the drive and drive dish. And what dish. we are also what learning are also is learning some footwork some foot around that pylon around that acting pylon as if that pylon, that pylon is a defender. Is a defender. Or, or if you'd like if, if you're not like, a huge fan of LeBron James, of LeBron James. I'm, I'm a fan I'm, because I'm a he's fan I know because why he's, I know really, why good, he's really good. But uh, but for uh, people who are not big fans of LeBron James that's him. Uh, that's He's the him. pylon, He's on, the pylon defense. on defense. I would love to hear some comments below on that. <laughs> anyways, uh, anyways, so I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. Of course, up in this corner is the subscribe button. If you haven't already, up in this corner is going to be another suggested video that YouTube thinks that you're probably going to like. And of course, comment below what you guys think about my comments about LeBron James's defense. Uh, I think that he's a good player because of the way he plays the game he is stronger than pretty much anyone on the court and that's why he's better than everyone else so uh i would love i would love to have your comments below and i'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video